What's up, guy? Oh, look, American Chad towers over Japanese weeb. <laughs> You're wearing like puffed up slippers. Take them off. All right, fine, I'll take off my slippers. <laughs> you have like the thickest slippers. These yeah, so they're a little bit, they're Tempur-Pedic, okay? You wanna know what we're doing today, chat? It's very simple. I like beer, Ludwig likes beer. We're gonna try most of the iconic American beer. We're getting drunk, baby! And we'll give our thoughts on them and I'll rate them and you'll rate them and tell me which ones you like. I am concerned about some of these. What is this one? Oh, this looks disgusting. Why is it called Warhead? Because it's flavored after a, a, an American staple, Warhead's candy, which uses citric acid to make children go yeah, these are also, I will note, these are massive cans of beer. Like, why are they so big? No, this is for an American? This is like a regular single portion. I've brought to you here all the best American beers. And this includes all of America. So we're talking Mexico as well, because Mexico has some of our best beers. Aren't some of these not American? Well, they're I all American or Mex... <laughs> well, can we sneak in a Belgian? This is, this is, this is um, Netherlands. And this is Japan, as you know. Corona is a Mexican beer. Yeah. I feel like it's such an American thing. Mexican beer, especially in LA, is like, like that's what most people drink. Yeah. I, and I think it'll be probably one of your more favorites is some of the Mexican beers. But I, I actually really like Heineken. Normally, I've, that's like one of my favorites. Okay, well that's good, because uh, it's actually just for me. <laughs> yeah, so it's not an American Wait, beer. Wait, do we have a glass? Should we, okay, you're just going in. All right, well. Do you have any sh like small glasses? Do I have small glasses? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I have one right here. <laughs> Chat, what is your favorite beer? And the winner of the poll was depression beer. Depression beer by 400. What is, what is depression I, beer? I've never heard of that. I, my mods must have put that in. They're sad. All right, I guess we'll start with Heineken then. I'm going easy with it. I'm not going crazy. I'm just gonna pour a tiny bit because we got a lot to drink. <gasps> That's, this is gonna be gross. <sighs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying <laughs> to expand my stomach. What? <laughs> Ugh, all right, okay. cheers to our health. Well, Heineken, Heineken's good, Heineken's great. Yeah, Heineken's good. What are you, okay, well, mm. I like Heineken, it's very fine. It never tastes bad. I don't think Heineken's bad. I think Heineken gets the job done. I think the way we're gonna rate it is by generally having a line form, so it doesn't okay, matter okay, where right, we right, put right, the Heineken. Right, right. Right. We it's put it fair. here, Got it. and then the next beer we drink, we say to ourselves, is that better or worse than the Heineken? This and way. better this way, worse towards me. Cause I'm double your angle. We have a, a bit of a fun connection to Budweiser. We did a blind beer tasting stream. We right. rated the beers and we guessed which country they were from. I was crushing it. I was like naming every country. I got every rating. And then we all got to Budweiser and I was like, this is great. It's such a rich flavor. And we all gave it like eight out of 10. And then it was Budweiser and I was like, I just lost every inch of credibility I had. Oh, that is um, sad. It's just, I mean, you can drink it. It's like the most fine, like it, it, it's not offensive. It's, it's like the Jimmy Fallon of beer. Anyone could enjoy it, but it's not gonna be your favorite. I, okay, I know why. Cause you drink it and you're like, I could easily go for another sip. Yeah. This is how alcoholism starts. The aftertaste <laughs> is like- there's, Nothing, there's, there's nothing. no bad aftertaste. Yeah. I think it's worse than Heineken, but only a little bit. I, uh, yeah, I'll agree. So I wanna kinda like, like take you around the tour of the world right now. Okay. So we went to Europe. Now I wanna take you a little bit further south to Mexico Which with one? one of my favorite Mexican beers. Is it this one? Pacifico. I had this first time in my life last night. Really? And I thought it was pretty good. There's something so depressing about having a can this big. Yeah. It I makes mean, me feel it, like I'm at the end of the road. Anyway, let's drink the Pacifico. Cheers. Cheers. What is that flavor it has? It's like kind of like weirdly sweet a little bit. You know what I mean? Cerveza. I like that one a lot actually. I love Pacifico. I think that's really nice. I would put Pacifico above Heineken. I don't know if you agree. Yeah, I think it's smoother. I don't know what that, that aftertaste People it has People are saying is. it's corn. It tastes good, chat. I don't know what it is, but it tastes good. All right, Connor, uh, we're on our world tour. Europe. World up. tour of beer. America, um, Mexico. I want you to take a yeah, little I sip knew, I knew you were gonna do. from Nihongo Jozu. This is Sapporo. Which comes from Sapporo in the Hokkaido prefecture. As we went to. So the most we went northern prefecture of Japan. I've never seen these cans in Japan. So these must be yeah, like- This is a I want, I want to show this off. Look at this. It's like, first of all, it's curvy. Like it's kind of a sexy bottle, right? It's it's a nice it's bottle. It's built like a triangle. Like this is how you hope your 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 latissimus dorsi goes down to your abs. This feels like it's crack. gonna explode. Like Yeah, know, it does feel like- so well. Good, I guess. Cheers. I, Sapporo is fine. I mean, I honestly think it's worse than Budweiser. I think there's like a sourness to this beer. It's Bud. It's the same as Bud. I, I'm happy to put it worse if you if you think, but it's the same in my mind. Let's put it higher. 
Can I pick one? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead, have a, have a pick. What the f this one? Ah, this is a Mexican beer, Dos Equis. So far, I think we're doing this pretty well. I think we're, we're being very responsible about how we're doing this. I'm, well, I'm impressed. This is our quarter way mark. Oh my God. So, yeah, your pores are getting bigger as well. I'm noticing that. Whoa. That's it's like way fizzier, no? Yeah. Am what, I crazy? What is that flavor? What is that aftertaste? It's got like this weird, like strong aftertaste that isn't pleasant. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's all cover all 9,000 taste buds. Dude, I'm getting f nothing from this beer. Well, I'm gonna make an executive decision. We put this behind the butt. Whoa! Do you agree? I agree. Okay, I, I okay. massively. Okay, so if, if I think Dos Equis is overrated. I, I think the beer that that for the most part mm. I see most Mexican people in LA drinking, it's Modelo. Are we a lot of I got a lot of burp, right? I, mean, I got it. Oh. This is your stream. What are you asking? This is the beer that I normally get in America um, at like bars if it's a stadium because mm -hmm. this is the only one that doesn't taste like ass. All right, cheers. All right. Yeah, I mean that's fine. I like that one. That's that's decent. It's a little more flavor than this. It's it's more more of a body to it, which I think just means it hits more of my taste buds. Connor, I leave it to you. I recommend here or here. I was thinking here. If that's the call I you'd think, like yeah, to make. I, I, that's the call I'd like to make. I'm so impressed people turned up on such short notice. What, to the stream? Yeah, that's crazy. It's like last time we did the cereal thing. Bro, this is two streamer award oh. winning creators oh, yeah. in Bring the flesh, in. bro. It in. It's, yeah. an, it's a cannot miss okay. event. <laughs> okay, what was that? I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. <laughs> Oh my God. Now this is technically not a beer, but it did start a revolution mm. of beer-like alcohols that are consumed at colleges around the country. Mike's hard. Okay, you know why I picked this? Why? I only know this from one for one reason. This is what all the predators drink in To Catch a Predator. What? Yeah, every single episode with Chris Henson, they'd be like, why did you bring Mike's hard lemonade in a pack of condoms? Connor, <laughs> you don't have to admit this. <laughs> I'm just, that's, oh, um, I, I legitimately. I predators like. No, I. The I, issue I, now I, is I, if you put I, this I, here, you I'm know like S tier. <laughs> Mike's Hard for me is like an introductory beer. Cause like you start drinking alcohol usually- <laughs> An introduction to what? To beer, okay, to okay. alcohol, <laughs> to, to 30 year old men. Okay, all right. Do they Burp. do this in America as well? Where obviously as a kid, you'd see your dad drinking something fizzy and like colorful and you're like, oh, can I try it? And your dad's like, all right, yeah. And then he laughs at you and you go. Whoa. Yeah, my dad died. Okay, yeah, my dad <laughs> Wait, no, no. Shit. No, it's like chill, it's oh. like. <laughs> why, yeah, are you no, doing, it's like... why are you using that for a bit? <laughs> 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 oh my god, he's such a YouTuber. <laughs> Christ. It smells gross. It smells like cheap it perfume. Does. It does. Dude, that's nasty. I think if you gave this to a kid, they wouldn't even know. They'd be like, great, I love Fanta. Yeah. This is great. You know what? The people who are on To Catch a Predator. <laughs> They're onto something. <laughs> I <Yeah>. didn't want <laughs> to say that. Not a problem. This is right down here. This is. I, I actually thought it was. It actually just tastes awful as well. Oh god. Let's go back to Coors Light. Coors's branding is only drink this when it is as close to freezing as possible so that you cannot taste yeah, anything yeah. but the temperature. It's just, it's, just, it's just nothing. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Well, let's see. I mean, look at that the color. That's like piss. Dude, that tastes awful. That's so bad. Yeah, Coors, like Coors Light has a very distinct aftertaste. Yeah, it's it's like shoes, like like muddy shoes have been left in the vet. That's tough. That's tough. I think it's gross. It's like ugh. I think this is worse than dos e dos equis. Dos equis. Equis. Dude, I'm too. I'm so British. It's yeah, that was British. That was so. That was such a British moment. I'm gonna move this, and it's going here. I think. I think it's just a little bit worse. Right. Well, let's talk about fun packaging. Let's talk about Pabst. Blue Ribbon. Now, Blue Ribbon will always have this on it, but oh, this one also has a cool little art piece on the back. Show this oh, off. It's actually oh, very okay. cute. Like it seemed to be like the beer that Peter Griffin was always drinking. Oh, like no, some no, kind no. of he knockoff. Drink, he, he drank the one from Quahog, right? Oh, I guess maybe it was it's a knockoff. It's like, it, am I crazy, chat? Am I, am I? No, maybe you're right. I mean, very passable. Here's the thing, Connor. Hey. You're named after this beer. What do you mean? Connor Dog, Virginia. This is the beer of Virginia. It's it's genuinely so hard to have any feelings on this beer. It's somehow more nothing than Budweiser. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to put it higher, but they're genuinely the same. I think you make the call. I'll let the East Coast boys be a little, I'll, I'll let them get a better today. Okay. All right, give me another one. So we were East Coast. Okay. We're gonna go a little further South. Okay. You obviously know about light beer, Bud Light, yada yada. But what about Bush Light? 
This is not known for its flavor. This is like, hey, I f have three bratty ass kids. I work a nine to five that I don't like, but I have to pay the bills. I want to go home and drink a six pack of something cheap that gets me drunk and does the job. I, you know what I hate about it most is the way it's spelled. Why? It's like bush, bush. <laughs> it's a name. Like what? I don't like it. I told some, I, was it you who I told? I was like, in Japan, if you, when you cheers, the most important person- Ching's higher. Goes highest. So like, and then the moment I told Ludwig that, he started just going, cheers guys. No, cheers, I didn't cheers, do that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I told someone it. That would be that. a Hassan move. Mm. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't taste much worse than some of the worst. I think it's worse, worse than cause. I'm saying it. Um, oh, the trash is open? Yeah. It's been open the whole Kobe. time. Is this supposed to? <laughs> that wasn't even close. Kobe, right. round two. Did you just got my phone. All right, let's go this one. What's this? Mickey's. What I'm glad you pulled this out. What the fuck is Mickey? Someone said this is the liquor store beer. Yes. This is like the ultimate, like, let me get it in a brown bag and let me just drink it. No, actually not that bad. It's, it's somehow better than Coors, I think. I think Mickey's and malt liquor as a whole is like a, w a way more distinct taste. So it's like if you're if you're newer to beer, like malt liquor is just f***ing gross. And like I, I really like like be the traditional beer flavor. Yeah, you're and that's British. closer to it. Whereas so this, this is, is not I think this is where we have a bit of a divide. I personally don't like malt liquor that much. I think malt liquor kind of has like a kind of tastes like Whoppers to me. Like it has a weird gross aftertaste that I don't enjoy. I think. Um, that you're a little baby. And <laughs> you can't handle Mickey's. <laughs> I'd put it, I'd put it here. <laughs> I genuinely, I genuinely think it, I, I think it tastes better than all these. This is not bad. Try, try Bud. It's got no flavor. It's easy to drink, but no, this has got more flavor than Bud. It has more flavor than water. It doesn't mean I want it more. <laughs> I want you to hit my number one beer in college, Michelob Ultra. They might call this Chickalub Ultra. Why do they call it that? Well, the reason is because Michelob Ultra's main branding is around its low calorie, low carb uh, uh, formula. It's basically one of the water beers. Like you're supposed to chug this, this at is Mach good. 5. This is bad chat, just in case you weren't aware. I can't speak on this. It's like rating my child. I okay, I, I've said this a lot about some of these beers. Like I, I've said that it tastes like nothing, but this actually tastes yeah. like <sighs> nothing. I would do this, I think. I'd move this along and I'd put it here. I think that's what I'd do. I respect that decision. I would respectfully put it above Budweiser, but I also understand. Uh, this is the one beer I've never heard of in my life. What the f is Bud Ice? I've never <laughs> heard of this. Dude, this packaging is like monster energy. Yeah, it's packaged like an energy drink from the 90s. <laughs> this is like Boost in the UK. Oh, ew. Bro, that's vile. I hated that. It actually like tastes Super artificial. This is the worst. The question is, is it worse than Mike's? And I don't think it is. I think it is. Well, I take a sip of each. I, I refuse I, to. I, I refuse to take another sip. I'll put out to do it. You know what? So pedophilia is better than Bud Ice <laughs> is what I'm getting right now. Assumption. Let's go for a Mexican one again. Uh, they, they, they've been good. This one is... That does not look good. It kind of looks like a, like a communist symbol. It, it does. Uh, Tecate. I think this one might be good. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm willing to be open-minded. Let's find out. It's got a very funky taste. This is weird. I don't know how to feel about this one. Oh, oh my God. Here or here? I'm not too sure. I would say here, okay. here, here. Well then let's, yeah. <laughs> Get me out of here. What the f was that? All right, we are gonna go to Miller Lite. I believe the third most popular beer in the States. I've had this before. This is one of the worst taste tasting things I've ever had. Really? I, I remember I did not like it. <sighs> Dude, it's so bad. Do you want to do a little game? Okay, what's the game? Okay, tell Turn me. Turn around, I'm going to point to where it should be. Okay, what's the game? And then now uh, you, you point to where it should be. That, um, that way we don't bias each other. Here. Did you do the same? Oh my god! I did right here. No! But that was close. Really? I, I, I'm down to go with your answer. I think that was fine. I think sure. the carbonation of Dos Equis still is rubbing me the wrong way. Three left. Three left. Let's get through it. Final three. We're going with three heavy hitters. <laughs> heavy on my liver. First one, I believe, is the most popular Mexican beer. Yeah, I mean... Corona. 
Now, fair warning to everybody watching, this is not Corona Light, it's Corona Extra, well, 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 which well, I think is slightly different. Is it really? It's like Budweiser to Bud Light. Personally, I kind of f Corona. I'm on, on go point. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. Okay. Close I, I, I think I think your choice might even be more respectable. You think so? All right. Two beers left. This one's not really a beer, Connor, but we do have to try it because it is a staple of alcohol. <laughs> it's, so it's a legendary beer that's no. gone through many losses. It's time to have a sip. Me, of I gotta show. I gotta show them this. This is disgusting. Look at this. This this just should not be legal. Yeah, it's Look it's at like the, three Red Bulls worth. Fourteen percent. In the in the two thousands, this ran colleges. <laughs> Bro, I just got a whiff when I opened it. What the f is that? What the f is that? Why is it that color? I'm not gonna, I'm not drinking all of this chat. I just, I wanted to visually sit. That's disgusting. I'm, I'm gonna take a tiny sip. Bro, what the f? Where you wanna put it? You know where I wanna put it. Very bottom? It's, it's, it's somehow worse than butter. Actually, I honestly won't f you. I think it's better than Mike's. I am gonna fight for Four Loco right now. Every beer from, I would argue, here down mm -hmm. has a singular purpose, to get you drunk in an inoffensive okay. way. If we're factoring in the percentage alcohol, which is 3X almost all of these mm. beers, the flavor, I would argue, is not three times worse than Mike's or Bud Ice. This is not a great argument. Well, it is, because I'm saying that you only have to drink one of these to do the effect of three of these. It's crazy how that made no f sense. It's crazy. <laughs> what? No, I was cooking, Chad. I, Back I, me up. That made so much f sense. I, like, I, I genuinely think you would develop problems if you drank that often. I, I actually all of these, to be honest. But I mean, that one more. Yeah, so. yeah. If you drink Pacifico <laughs> often, you actually don't have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I think you're actually not problematic. You're actually based. <laughs> now, why did we leave this one to lie? Bud Light is the most popular American mm -hmm. beer, mm -hmm. and it is not close. Why are you, okay, you can, you can stop. That's enough Bud Light. Let me try it. I mean, it's Budweiser with a little better. Close your eyes. Okay. What uh, do you think? Um, here. <gasps> what? Why, where did you put it? Bro, I put it here. Here. Really? I think it's better than, it tastes better than Corona. Uh, you're tearless, bro. Well, that's like, that's like seventh, right? No, it's your tier list, man. We're moving it up. What do you mean? Stop laughing. So we have our beer tier list here. This is the mm. worst beer. This is the best beer. Excuse me, our S tier beers. Tom. Our Heineken and Pacifico, they're the best okay. of American beers, and one of them's not from America. And the other one's also not from America. And this one's also not from America. Nice. Our A tier beers, Modelo, Tecate, and PBR. Our B tiers yep, those are, the B are tiers. Sapporo, Bud Light, Corona Extra. Our C tiers, Mickey's, Budweiser's, Michelob mm. Ultras. Our D tiers, Dos Equis, Miller yeah. Light, Coors Light, Bush Light. And then our F tiers would not drink, even if chugging, Mike's Hard, Bud Ice, and Four Loco. All right, well chat, I mean, that's basically it. We're done here for today, uh, but it's been fun. And thank you for joining this short stream. Thank you guys so much. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe to the Conlog YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's free and helps support the channel. And we're live on Twitch at three to four times a week. Try to be. Bye. Bye.